Hello there, welcome back to my channel Juella, or if you're new here then welcome to my channel. So first things first, apologies guys, just my usual typical self, consistently inconsistent. I do have perfectly valid reasons for it guys, I'm often in really poor health and yeah, I often don't even have the energy to walk up and down the stairs, let alone go in the shower, wash and dry my hair, put a bit of war paint on so that I don't completely frighten everyone and have the energy to do some videos so yeah when i do have a little bit of a spring in my step i really do try to get some things filmed any other you know normal youtuber might stagger their videos out a bit as well when they record and like you know every few days they might upload one no i don't do that i just upload them as and when i can so you'll probably find with my channel if you're not already used to it I'll have chunks of videos going up like kind of sporadically with gaps in between but please forgive us for that guys like I say consistently inconsistent so anyway as you can tell from the title guys this is the Enchant and Soap mystery box now the reason I love this mystery box well one of the reasons I love it it was a double up box the lovely owner Claire sometimes put an offer on where you can get like double the value inside your box so for instance I ordered a £10 mystery box and I have at least £20 value inside the box which I think is absolutely amazing like it's so so good in fact I think it's closer to £25 worth but anyway so yeah absolutely cannot grumble I highly recommend this company the whipped soaps are amazing they smell fantastic and I've recently bought other whipped soaps from another company just so I could kind of compare them and price wise they're pretty much on par just so I could get a bit of a feel for really like what I think of these and like just do a little comparison which I'll talk to you about in another video but yeah the Enchant and Soap ones came out on top put it that way so yeah right let's get started Um, I probably was going to waffle on and tell you a few more things but I'll just do that in another video because howie you know what I'm like before I know it this is going to be 20 minutes long and I'm really trying to condense my videos because I talk too bloody much anyway this is the Enchant and Soap mystery box I love this sticker with the little witchy on it's so cute and I have scribbled my address out so you can't really see it anyway it's a really good size box and I thought for 10 pound I knew I was getting at least £20 value. I just thought it was amazing. Inside the box as well, there's a little sticker that says Enchant and Soap. Don't know if you can see there. Might use that as my thumbnail when I come to upload my video. So inside, you get your little invoice, which is always sealed with like a little wax stamp. It's so cute and it makes you think it's something special because it looks really special. But sadly, it's just it's just your invoice, guys. Um, but I can't bear to part with it because I love the little wax stamp which I know is pathetic, but hey-ho, it's just me. A little bit pathetic, aren't I? Anyway, so let's go. Inside these mystery, box, mystery boxes, you can obviously get an array of products. Some products you might really like, some products you might not like at all. Some products might not be suitable for you, or you really might not like the scents, but it's a good thing just to pass things on, seeing as we're getting closer to Christmas now as well. I think it's good that, you know, hopefully there's no money wasted, and you can pass things on for stocking fillers for people for Christmas, which I know is the type of thing that I would do. So let's just dive in with the first product. So this is a new product, I believe, and this is a whipped soap, and it's the Drumstick Sweeties one. And it's literally got the little Drumstick Sweeties on there. I don't know if you can see. I'm not bringing it up to the camera because I think that it'll go a bit blurry. But anyway, it looks so pretty. And I can, I can tell you now, it just smells like the sweets. And for me, being a diabetic and I'm not allowed sweets anymore, it's a little bit like, a little bit of a, how can I put it? A good thing and a bad thing. It's nice to smell something sweet and it's a bad thing because I want to eat something sweet and I can't. Anyway, so yeah. This is it inside. It's like a pink and yellow colour. Don't know if you can see that and it looks a little bit shiny as well. It smells lovely. It does smell like the drumstick sweets. If you like the smell of the drumstick sweets then you'll like the smell of this. I am getting a little bit of a hint of something a little bit more like a different kind of scent but predominantly drumstick sweeties it's beautiful haven't used it yet but i do like the formulation of the whipped soaps by claire they are really 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 nice oh, it just smells so nice i noticed that you did put one up called nag champa and i'm really intrigued to try it but i believe it's out of stock at the moment so i'll probably be on the site at some point purchasing that but that is the first item and these are worth 
I want to either say $6.99 or $7.99. I think it's $7.99 for the whipped soaps. So first things first, £8 and this box cost us 10 but I also used my friend Drusilla's code which is Drusilla15 and that'll get you 15% off which basically will give you free postage and you know just whatever depending on how much you spend. So yeah, fantastic. So next product we have got Cotton Fluff Body Butter and it's got like a little ghosty on it. I don't know if you can see that very clear because it's so sparkly and glittery and with the ring light it's it's difficult to obviously see but yeah we've got a little body butter here i think these are worth about 8.99 i want to say when i've seen them but i haven't actually seen this one on the site so it's either a new one or like ones that have been made a little while ago that you know just getting kind of getting rid of the, the stock which is fine it smells lovely it smells really really subtle it's not a strong smell and when it said cotton fluff, I was kind of expecting like a clean washing smell, which I was hit instantly with a little bit of that kind of scent. But more than anything, I can smell apple. I don't know if it's meant to have apple in it, but I can smell apple. Like a, bit, a mixture of like clean washing and apples. But yeah, it's lovely. Now, I have used a little bit of it on my hand. I'm just going to get a little bit off there. Pop it on my hand. It's quite thick. It's quite thick and luxurious. So let's just give it a little rub in. Now it's doing the same thing that it did when I tried it literally two weeks ago when I got this box. It feels quite greasy when I initially try it on my hand. But then when I tried a little bit on my knees, which are really dry, it wasn't greasy. So I think it's just something that it does on my hand, to be honest with you. But I can't fault the smell. It's really subtle. So it's nothing overpowering. And it's just nice and fresh and clean with a little hint of apples if you like an apple -y kind of scent. So yeah, it rubs in okay. Like I say, it is a little bit greasy initially, but it does settle down and it does soak in. So yeah, that's nice enough, I like that. I have had one of the other body butters by Claire. I think it was the Bubbly and Roses, and that one doesn't do that, so I don't know if it's a different kind of ingredient in it. But yeah, all in all though, it's fine because I get dry skin all over my legs. So that's really good for my legs. So that's kind of what I'm going to use it for. Anyway, next product. Can't believe the amount of products I've got for £10. Literally, it's amazing. I honestly, you know, I couldn't recommend enough to go on the site when she has these offers on because you get amazing value and you're supporting a small family business as well. Anyway, so next product. We have got the Baby Powder Bubble Bath. And it's so cute. It's got like a pink glitteriness in it as well. I don't know if you can see that there but it's like a blue color and it's like pink and glittery as well it smells fantastic it just smells like the baby powder whipped soap i'm just kind of opening it like this oh it's beautiful i love the smell of baby powder and it's got like a little pump on it so you can either use this i believe as a shower gel or a bubble bath i'll use it as both and size wise it's quite a decent size i want to say about 250 mils but i could be wrong because I don't think it says, or it does say, and maybe I'm just not seeing it. But either way, it's actually a really good size, and it smells beautiful. So yeah, really, really happy with that. And I believe they're about £10 on the site. So, so far, we've nearly got £20 in value. Like, it's amazing. Next product, just going to give it a little shake. We have got the Fairy Drops Room Spray, which has got like a little kind of fairy on it, as it suggests, fairy drops. It's really, really super cute. Now, the scent of this is a dupe for Lush's Snow Fairy, I want to say. Is it Snow Fairy or Snow Pixie? I can't remember, you know. It's been ages since I've had it. I think it's Snow Fairy. Anyway, let's just give it a spray to the left of us because it will drift on over. Yeah, that is absolute Snow Fairy. It's like a sweet, musky, black currant type scent. It's really, really pretty. Really, really nice thoroughly happy with that i have had a few of the room sprays and i've literally just finished one and it's going to be empties which i might fill them today i'll see how much time i've got but yeah really like the room sprays and i believe they're about 5.99 when they go up on the site but i'm not sure if there's any on there at the moment so four products amazing the fifth and i believe this is the final product we have got an apple lip gloss love it it smells fantastic i'm not actually going to open this one because i've got one currently at the moment i'm just going to get it out my drawer actually because it's right next to us but i think this is the poisoned apple 
but I'm kind of thinking it's probably the same sort of thing. Claire, let me know if it's not, and then I might actually keep it for myself. But yeah, I've got the poisoned apple one, which smells like kind of toffee apples. It smells lovely. My friend Drusilla got us this one. Oh, it's lovely. It's like sweet candied toffee apples. So yeah, we have got the apple lip gloss. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to pop this in some kind of giveaway or a stocking filler present for a friend of mine or for my stepdaughter. My stepdaughter might like that for Christmas. And I think these are worth £2.99. So that is everything I got in my mystery box for £10. I cannot stress enough, for £10 this is a really good value box. They're not always this kind of value. If you normally purchase a £10 mystery box, the value will be roughly £12 to £13, which you're still getting something extra. So basically, you might get one of these in chucked in basically for a freebie, which is absolutely worth it. But sometimes you get more value than that. It really does just depend. But yeah, I've had several mystery boxes. Pretty much loved everything I've had. I'm not going to sit here and tell lies if I don't think something's good or if there's products that I wasn't keen on. There's one or two things I probably wouldn't choose out of choice that I've had in the past. But everything that I've got this time is lovely. Absolutely lovely. So let's just blast through again before I wrap this video up. We have got the Apple Lip Gloss, which it just looks so cute. It's like green and like a lime green glittery colour. It's really, really cool. We've got the Fairy Drops Room Spray, which I'm definitely keeping. I use loads of room sprays. I even use body spray as room spray because you can do that, but never use a room spray as a body spray or you'll come out in a bit of a rash. <laughs> just common sense though, isn't it, how we? Anyway, so we've got the Baby Powder Bubble Bath lovely absolutely lovely love that scent it's a beautiful scent so it's like a nice clean scent and i'm the type of person i go in the bath or the shower and i hammer a load of talc in those kind of chub rub areas and under the boobage um so yeah i love the smell of talc i always smell quite talky anyway we've got the cotton fluff body butter which like i say when i initially put it on my hand it was quite greasy but it is soaking in now it just takes a little bit of time to soak in and maybe it's just the initial top layer that might be a little bit oily. I think when you get a bit further down, it mightn't be quite as bad. But ultimately, it's a lovely product and it's like a nice pale lilac colour. So yeah, I will use it, definitely, but probably mainly on my legs. Especially on my knees and my ankles and maybe my feet. Although I do have specific foot lotions, which I really need to use more often. Anyway, the final product was the Drumstick Sweeties Whipped Soap beautiful absolutely beautiful she put a couple of new scents up at once and this was one of them and i remember thinking i'm so tempted to try it because i used to love eating those sweeties when i was younger anyway yeah it smells lovely and there's definitely a bit of glitteriness going on in there so yeah can't wait to try that one guys if you've tried it then let us know what you think can you see the like pink and yellow there maybe you can maybe you can't but anyway yeah smells divine smells beautiful so yeah, just to reiterate, I highly recommend this company. Not only is it a small family run business, so you're supporting small businesses, which I absolutely am fully on board with, but I won't tell lies in my reviews. If I don't like something, I'm gonna say it, whether you're a small company or a big, big, huge company. That doesn't make a difference to me. I'll always be congruent, genuine, and honest with my reviews. Always, always am. You can trust that from me and my channel. But I highly recommend this company, honestly. The products have been lovely so far. Like I say, I've compared them with a few other different things. And actually, they are really, really good. Really, really good. So, singing the praises of them, so I am. And I can't wait to get my September um, subscription box from them. I've signed up for the September one, which I had to sign up a month ago. Because she only had so many boxes in stock that she prepares and makes, so there's no wastage. And it was themed on the Adams Family. I cannot wait to get that box. Hopefully within the next week or so I'll receive that and I'll come back on camera and show you the products because who doesn't love the Adams Family? Like seriously, brilliant, brilliant films and brilliant TV series as well back in the day. Um, back in the day before I was born probably but I do sometimes watch the oldies, they're good. So anyway, yeah, highly recommend Enchant and Soap. Get yourself over to the website if you haven't already been on and just have a little look and see what's there. Um, and if you ever see a, an offer on for double up mystery boxes, fully take advantage. And I do highly recommend the products. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I shall be back very, very soon with some more videos, literally in the next couple of minutes. <laughs> anyway, take care now. Bye bye.